second game of an ESPN doubleheader takes us to the Pac-12 Conference. This is Across the Board with Jeff Grant here at SBRForum.com. And you're definitely going to want to check out a Big Ten Conference preview that I did earlier this morning between the Michigan State Spartans hosting the Illinois Fighting Illini. But this one, we're going to take a look at the Arizona Wildcats versus the Washington Huskies in the Pacific Northwest at Alaska Airlines Arena. Wildcats opened up as six-point home favorites. That number has dropped down to five. I'm not very surprised by that move due to the fact that I established the Arizona Wildcats as four-and-a-half-point road favorites in this one. The real mover in the market, the total from 137.5 to 139.5. When you look at the Arizona Wildcats, they bounced back nicely from their second loss of the season, picking up a 74-50 victory as 14-point home favorites over the USC Trojans. That came after one of the more disappointing losses that they've had under the Sean Miller era, and that was a uh, loss to the UCLA Bruins. They fell behind by about 15 points in the first five minutes of that game in Tucson and was never able to recover. They got back to their defensive ways, and this team does its best work when getting after it on that side of the floor. 28.1% shooting. They held the USC Trojans in their latest victory. The Wildcats have won four of their five true road games this year, outscoring opponents by 12.6 points per game on average and also grabbing 8.4 rebounds. Their only loss in that situation, probably the toughest home court in the Pac-12 conference now that we're midway through, almost midway through conference play. That was in Eugene, Oregon against Oregon. 8 and 10 in their last 18 meetings in the series. If you're looking to fade them as a road favorite, that is definitely one of the statistics to look at. And also the underdog is on a 7 and 2 ATS run. But the Wildcats do some of their best work in the month of January since Miller's come on board coming over from Xavier. 21 and 10 straight up in the month of January. And a lot of that is against conference opponents. So this program has done a nice job in the first month of a calendar year. When you look at the Washington Huskies, not quite sure what we're going to get tonight. Three game losing streak directly following a four game win streak. Maybe some of those recent losses could be forgiven since they've only played two of their last eight games on this home floor and this team has historically done its best work when playing in front of its home crowd. They haven't dropped four straight games in Pac-12 or Pac-10 conference play since 2008. Uh, a drawback when you look at the Huskies when they're playing premier competition, one and nine straight up in their last 10 games against top 25, po top 25 foes, but they have won four consecutive games against ranked opponents at Alaska Airlines Arena. From a home, home underdog situation, a betting trends perspective, 4-9-1 and one as a home underdog of 3.5 to 6 points, which is, lands right in the middle here with the spread landing at 5, 3-11 straight up in that situation. If you followed my videos, we've had good success in college basketball, uh, starting to do well in NBA, but the Arizona Wildcats have really been my kryptonite. But I'm going to back them again. I think I'm 0-3 when picking Arizona games. So if you're looking to fade me in this situation, go right to it. I'm not going to, to go against Arizona in the spot. 16-7 and in their last 23 road games. And they've really had some of their best success when playing away from, South Arizona, or from Arizona. When laying two to six and a half points in the betting market. They've had tremendous success in that situation. So I'm going to lay the points here. I'm going to pick the Arizona Wildcats, minus five against the Washington Huskies on Thursday night. This has been another edition of Across the Board with Jeff Grant here at SBRForum.com. For any further information on this game or any other on an action-packed Thursday night college basketball board, you can follow me on Twitter at Jeff Grant Sports.